Okay, now we're going to talk about how to single crochet into a foundation chain. Here's our foundation chain, and we're working single crochet. Um, just when stitching into the foundation chain, you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, is there six? Oh, there's five. Anyway, when you're stitching into a foundation chain, unless otherwise instructed, by your pattern, you will want to stitch into this top loop here, okay? So you stick your hook, see the stitch? This is our first stitch, this is what a stitch looks like, just one, all right? It's almost like a braid, it looks like, when you lay it all out, the foundation chain does. So here's your first loop in the foundation chain, you stick your hook in, yarn over the hook. See, I don't do like yarn over like this. I just grab it and kind of twist and you pull it through that stitch, okay? Now you've got two loops on the hook and you're going to do yarn over again and this time you're going to pull through both loops on your hook. And that is a single crochet. We'll do another one. Hook through the top loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. The last one in the foundation chain, yarn over, Pull through. Oop, I got too much. See, this will happen from time to time. You can see that one of the plies has gotten hooked on. You just kind of pull out from under there, and it's all sorted out. Pull through. Okay, this is where we worry about turning. Okay, fix my lights here. Okay, that's better. So, We've reached the end of our line, our foundation chain. Okay, now it's time to turn so that we can do the next row on top of here. Okay, this is a little different than stitching into the foundation chain. What you're going to do first is you'll chain one, just like you did with the foundation chain. You just do yarn over, pull through just one time. Okay, so that's a chain one. Single crochets are a height of chain one when you're doing a turn, when you're doing rows, okay? So we've done our chain one, now we're gonna flip it, like so, and see this is the back of our work we just did, all right? We've got our chain one here, and then we've got the loop on the hook, which again does not count as a stitch, and oftentimes they'll tell you whether or not um, a chain and turn counts as a stitch. Um, typically, well, really always in my experience, uh, chain one just is not counted as a stitch. So what we'll do to start our single crochets this time, as you can see, this is the top of the stitch. Now this again looks different than our foundation chain did, but this is the top of the stitch. If you're looking at it here, you can kind of see that gap in the middle, right there, okay? On the top, it looks like a braid again, like our foundation chain did, all right? So what you're going to do to do your first single crochet is you're going to stick your hook through both, under both of these top two loops. See, this is how it's different from the foundation chain. Through these top two loops, you yarn over, pull through, and you yarn over and pull through both of the loops. That's our first single crochet on this row. We'll do it again. You stick our, our hook through this hole here, and you'll see the two pieces of yarn there that are on the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both on the loop, on the hook rather, and there you go. So you just continue on like this. Do it really slow this time. It's 
sorry, I like to adjust my yarn on my hand a lot of times. I do it over and over and over again because I'll get too much distance here between my fingers and the work. And I gotta go whoop whoop and reel it back in. So anyway, this is just how we do single crochet. I'm gonna try to keep it more still so you can see it better. Just a few stitches left. There we are. We've reached the end of our line. You see there's like kind of like a little knob here. Don't worry about that. What we're going to do is it'll even out once we're done. All right. So because we're doing single crochet, we need to get the next row up to the height that it needs to be in order to do the next row. Otherwise, it won't stand right and it just won't work. So what we do is we did our chain one here. Let me show you again because I didn't talk through it. So here we are, we're through the work there. Okay, you can see the last part of this single crochet. We're going to do yarn over, pull through to do our chain one and then we're going to flip the work. And so now you can see the back side of the row we've just done. We've done our chain one, so we're up to the proper height. We start again. Single crochet. This is what you would use for, I mean, any number of things, but this is the stitch you use for amigurumi. I think I'm saying that right, but yeah, it's just the this is the shortest you can get apart from doing a slip stitch, and I will talk about slip stitch in a different video because this one's already too long. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.